Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Barkley and Sarah and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your little boy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give him when we're working with him and the training equipment that we're using. Sarah is using a regular six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand, you wouldn't get him up, <laughs> he's getting bored. Um, that leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's given and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on his training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using and you will, will see Sarah use the occasional treat. Now, Barkley should be sitting very nicely at her left. He's doing his own thing right now. And Sarah is, as I said, using a regular six-foot training leash and a training collar. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking, and the command is Barkley heal. Now, at this point, Barkley has a job to do, and that is to focus more on you than what's going on around you. And when you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. Occasionally he needs a little reminder, but for the most part, those automatic sits are really good. And Sarah did not even say the word sit. You want to go around one more time, Sarah, with him? I mean, he's a baby, so he's easily distracted and he gets bored if you stop training with him and then starts doing puppy stuff. Sarah leave, leaves him in another sit, stay. stay. Turns to face him. And then when she returns back to him, she's going to return right back to his shoulders where they started. And they take off healing again. Sarah leaves him in another sit stay and this is what you do like when he's not always going to be absolutely perfect and you can't give up when you're when you're training with a puppy of this age and and mental ability to focus it's not going to be perfect every time just don't lose your temper don't let him win this time Sarah will call him and this is the recall or the come on command and he always gets rewarded for coming. He's very good at coming and sitting and not coming and jumping on you. So Sarah's going to heal him out of that and then we have a little mat in the middle of the room for his down command. So I would recommend that you use his dog bed or something at home for the down and stay. He's been working probably for a good half hour before we turn the camera on. So when you're working with him at home, use your um, video as your guide. And if you run through the video twice, if you have a smart TV, you can put it on your TV um, yeah. and practice these commands, run them through a couple times, and then just use, your, use them in your everyday living situations. Don't continue to drill him for a long period because then he loses focus, which is what has happened. We worked him for quite a while and we're working indoors because it's too hot for the puppies outside. Not to mention the trainers, but we can handle it. The dogs wilt really fast. Beautiful downstay. Everything that, he, you know, his healing is good, his sits are good, stay, come, down. So he's done a really good job while he's been with us here at school. I'll be sending this over to you shortly, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.